All right, let us continue. This place used to be like charmingly creepy and now it's actually just like the most depressing place ever. Like not seeing them throwing their confetti and stuff makes me feel sick. <laughs> Oh, it's just smack in the middle? What the? Hello. This is the resource recovery unit. Now activating defense mode. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Last one. What are they going to throw at? Over. I know, Nines. I See, they really make us feel that, too. Like, exactly what he, he just said over and over. And it's hey, like, yeah, even as get? the... This reads, God box. God, huh? What are these machines doing talking about gods? Even as the player, they make us feel like, oh, over and over. So we get to really feel what he's feeling. It's crazy. God box, meat box, soul box, god box. Is this more information about the actual humans, maybe? What? I don't know what that means. Meat box, soul box, and then god box. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Pod, why did the machines attack Pascal's village? Aren't they all the same? Unknown. Well, aren't you helpful? Proposal, Unit A2 should gather further data on the current state of machine life. Hello, and thank you for Oh, she can hear it too? Huh? We've got something very exciting for everyone today. Oh my god, the echo. No way! They're treating this like a game? They're trying to bait A2 here as well! Good luck! The hell was that? Large structural unit of machine life form origin activated to the east. A large what now? What the heck is going on around here? Unknown. Well, let's go check out this large structural unit. Oh my god. Are they pitting us together or are they just trying to lure? A2 there? Good gosh. Oh my goodness. This is wild. I was not expecting this switch to A2 in this moment. <clears throat> oh! Nines? Okay. So is, is right. eight. eight. Excessive combat activity will put unacceptable strain on your body. Shut up! Negative. This support unit is assigned to Yorha Unit 9S. <laughs> As such, being concerned for said unit's well-being is a requirement. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, wow. What the heck is this? Oh! No! <laughs> that scared me! I was looking the other way! Oh, I forgot to stock up on heals.
Oh wait, I don't think I was supposed to be going back down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vantage point. <laughs> Pack them! Pack them, nines! Oh, geez. This is a big one. Nice. Noise. When is A2 getting here? I'm so scared for how this interaction is gonna go down. She's gonna be her aloof, hardcore self, probably. She'll be like, what are you talking about? Or maybe she'll surprise me. That. I don't like the lights off. Is A2 coming in bef like after us or is she going to be at the top waiting for us when we get there? Oh god. I'm shredding these guys. Oh. oh my god. One maybe? Nope. Who's still left? Oh my gosh. this than fight the snake so <laughs> much rather hack them 
Nice. My auto collect is not very good. <laughs> yeah, I definitely should have stocked up on the. What the heck? Oh my goodness. gonna be hard. I knew it. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad though. I can do it. There. Pack it. Oh, there's one more. I was like, what's left? He's over there. Hopefully that's the last one. No. Oh, nope. There's another one. <laughs> it up here. Got it, got it, got it. Ah! Okay, it's open. Last one, I think. Is this it? Are we gonna see A2? Oh god, I'm scared. Oh no. Okay. We got a hack in here, or... Operator models. Affirmative. Operator 210. Volunteer to undergo type B equipment transition during previous event. <gasps> Sent to front lines as unit 21B. Recorded as missing in action four hours later. No. A trainer! Oh my gosh. Recorded, volunteered. Interesting. Oh, operator, no! Okay, hacking is definitely the move here, though. In true 9S fashion, we shall hack.
This is such a badass looking boss though, like the setup of it is so cool. Close. Come on, a few more hacks. Oh, he's gone, I can't hack it. Oh wait, I can hack it. Oh, cool. Okay, never mind. Yes, I can. Yes, I can, yes, I can. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Nice. Do we just keep hacking them? Oh god. Since I can't even see the thing. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Oh, he's closing in on me. <gasps> oh, here we go. Oh, operator. Oh, I probably should have just let her get up for a moment. <laughs> ah! Oh yeah, of course her defenses are strong. you then damn oh my gosh okay maybe we maybe we don't hack her yeah. oh god yeah. did I run out of heels yeah. oh I thought I ran out of heels <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh okay, I'm gonna have to do some perfect evade maneuvers here because holy crap she's brutal yeah. Loca location specified. Coordinate data. Who's she talking to? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Freak! Please keep. <laughs> One affirmation will suffice. suffice. Shit. Is he conflicted or is he having a hard time? I can't tell. <laughs> the operator smooth operator oh god What is she saying? Let her finish! Did they promise her a family if she... Oh 
Sorry, girl. I'm just enjoying the music. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Too? Oh my god, she did it again. She loves skewering things. <laughs> oh my god, so brutal. A2. <clears throat> to be told me. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. <gasps> you? Oh no. Don't you dare talk to me about two feet! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Not the switch up of us. August? Is still alive. Query, why would Unit A2 be concerned with the status of Unit 9S after turning on your hub? Shut up! Oh, the pod machine be like, hmm. Oh, not the machines with the buckets! Oi. So was that a whole lie? There was just a bunch of machines like coded to believe that they were missing their big brother. They had to fix it. Like why, why is there multiple machine with the bucket on the heads calling for brother? I'm confused. What's happening? That, they were playing on our emotions. I'm telling you. They were trying to get us to care about the machines. Oh, yeah. Okay, that missed, but all right. No. Don't hurt my brothers. How many androids do you think you've killed? You think begging for your lives will help? Ooh. You think that's going to make me forget everything? Oui. Oh. She's so angry. Oh. Oh my goodness. I died? Oh my god, no! I can't reload my body anymore! Oh my gosh! Oh, I forgot about that. I can't believe I just died. Oh no. <laughs> what do I have to do again? Oh my gosh. <gasps> I killed A2. Like actually killed her. <laughs> oh god. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two with A2. Let's not kill her. <laughs> Yeah, completely forgot that detail that we can't revive our bodies anymore. So. <laughs> oh my god, watching this the second time is still just as brutal. <laughs> oh god. Oh jeez, here she goes. To be told me. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. 
You. Toofy. Don't you dare talk to me about Toofy! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <sighs> Whew, okay, here we go again. Don't die. Where'd he go? Analysis. Your high unit 9S is still alive. Query. Why would unit A2 be concerned with the status of unit 9S after turning on your high? Shut up! Oh no. Ooh, run! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh. Do I not have equipped things for healing? Oh my god. for your lives will help? You think that's going to make me forget everything? Oh, she's so cool. I'm just trying to be extra careful here. Kinda hack. <laughs> Oops. Oh gosh, he's trying to clap me. He's trying to clap me! Oh my gosh. Stop all resource recovery units. Oh my goodness. Also, I did the thing again. I accidentally attacked when I was trying to see if they had dialogue. That was my bad. Oh God, why do I do this? Pod 042, contact initiated between pod 042 and pod 153. What is the matter, Pod 042? This protocol is not an interface intended for conversational use. Acknowledged. However, this pod has confidential transmission for Pod 153. Understood. Begin transmission. An error has been detected in the transmission network between Pod 042 and 153. Oh? Hypotheses. Said error is fragmented data caused by deterioration of the transmission environment. It may be so. However, it may also not be so. 
Message unclear. Clarification, clarification requested. <laughs> After repeated information exchanges between multiple pods, an unexpected phenomenon has occurred. Oh no. We pods have developed unusually protective feelings towards support targets 2B, A2, and 9S. <laughs> Query, could this be our will? Oh my gosh. The pod programs! Oh, that's so wholesome though. Unknown. The definition of will is unclear. That's so true though. Like, as we've seen this portion of the game, just their communication back and forth, talking about A2 and 9S, like, <laughs> will is the question of whether pods are capable of their own self determination. Dot, dot, dot. Even if it were possible, such actions cannot be abided. Successful mission fulfillment is all that matters. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Whatever the case, we tactical support units have a duty to see this through to the end. Duty. Heh. You sound like an android just there. Kinda. She sounds like an operator. <laughs> Agreed. But just as androids are influenced by humans, so are we tied to our creators. Exactly. Who are your creators? Is it not the same people? Perhaps. Pod 153 dot dot dot. Do not die! Oh my gosh! I didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh my god! Do not die. I feel like they're just paralleling 2B and 9s. Concept of death has no meaning to tactical support units. However, your expression of concern is appreciated. Oh my god, this is so cute! <laughs> I didn't see this coming. I also hope that you do not die. Pod 042. <laughs> yeah. Physical check complete. Memory check complete. Maintenance mode complete. Yorha Unit 9S. Activate. <sighs> Good morning, 9S. Am I? Analysis. The enemy structural unit collapsed during battle. Unit 9S suffered damage from the fall and was placed in emergency suspend mode. Fall location was deemed too dangerous, thus said unit was transported to current location. All system checks and reactivation complete. Operator. Operator model 210 is deceased. Oh my goodness. Black box signal not found. Oh wow. Hmm. Okay, RIP Situation operator. Situation report. Tower access authentication key acquired. Nice. The required number of authentication keys have been acquired. The tower is now open for investigation. <gasps> Here we go! We go Good. to the tower! Oh my gosh. Council of Humanity scheduled correspondence. Attention all androids. Thousands of years have passed since we humans were driven to the moon. And while the war remains deadlocked, we know that our continued safety is only possible thanks to our valiant efforts on the ground. We ask that you continue giving your all to the mission of recapturing Earth from the scourge of the machines. Glory to mankind. League of Assemblymen. Do I have anything over here? Just check. Okay. So I guess we go there? I'm so excited to find out what the heck is in this tower. I honestly have no idea what to expect coming up for the story. Are we gonna run into A2 there as well? Like, where, where is she? Is she coming? <laughs> She's also gathering the keys. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god. I'm scared. Oh God. But locks on each subunit must be deactivated before accessing the main tower. Oh, I have to hack them first. Have a great day. Yeah, okay, my bad. Oh gosh. Oh, Jeez, okay, hold on. I wonder if I just have to get to the end or if I have to, like, actually kill everything. Okay, yeah, I just have to get to the ball at the end. Okay, there we go. Two more. Oh, these are easy. That means the last one's gonna be really hard. This voice makes me so uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. What the heck is this place? Alert. Enemy caution level rising. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Get out of my way! Oh, there's so many. Allies? A2? <gasps> Shut the hell up! Wait, Let's go! You? Yes! 9S? We've been expecting you. <clears throat> the two of us will take things from here. <laughs> you need to open the door to the tower. Oh my Tell gosh. Popola? Popola. What are you doing here? That's how you Remember say it. Remember your promise? What are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. None of this makes any sense. We'll explain everything once we're inside. <gasps> oh my god, they're so cool. They're so cool. What the heck? Oh, homies came to the rescue. I was like, allies? Who? Got this 9s. You just focus on hacking. Oh my god, do I have to keep pressing it? That's so interesting. Okay. <laughs> Wait, it reset? I'm confused. So I have to like you need do to this without tower lock open. How did I never know that I could hold it? I, I can't believe I'm just figuring that out now. 
I thought I kept having to press it. I can literally hold it. Oh my gosh. Better late than never, question mark? Oops. Oh my goodness. This is a crazy lock. Got it. Okay, we don't have a time limit, as far as I can tell. That's probably gonna be really hard at the end. Oh, the 8-bit version of this song. Ah! Oh, so good. What's oh my god, there's three? Barrier. Analysis. It's part of a closed defensive system. Well, how do I break it down? Hypothesis. Unit 9S could permit his subconsciousness data to lose control. What the? the resulting energy surge has an acceptable probability of temporarily paralyzing the barrier. What the heck? That's almost as bad as not going in at all! Oh my gosh. What happened? It's the barrier. Popola! No, don't! Uh, you can't do anything! The wall's got to solve the algorithm! Devil and I, we have to atone for our sins no matter what! Oh! But if you do that, your circuits will... Devil! self-sacrifice, because they still feel guilty! She's like throwing him in there. Devil! I hope you don't regret this. What does that mean? Why would she say that? Oh my gosh. True homies though. We we stand Devil and the Popola. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go again. Alert. Data records discovered for units Devila and Popola. Do you wish to open this data now? Heck yeah. <gasps> dot dot dot. A dusty wind kisses my cheeks. Buried in sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go after all. Because our models, the Devila and Popola models, are defective. Oh, they're defective models. <laughs> Record transitions in the project's initial phase. When first we woke, there were still people. They had flesh, egos, emotions, souls, and they issued us a single order. Function as observers of Project Gestalt. This is the sole mission of the twin Devila and Popla models. It is the only reason we exist at all. They're just observers. We were the latest model, though many companions share our, shared our appearance. There was a sparkle in all our eyes, a sense of pride at having been entrusted with humanity's future. And yes, there was anxiety as well. But we existed as a pair. We shared destiny's burden as a pair. And because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given their own cities as observation areas. We were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands. All for that, all for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. I'm reading this again, hold on. They all, they each got their own city to observe. They were ordered to guide the replicants. All for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. We were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers, after all. Ah! Watch out! Devila staggers and falls in the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh with relief when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? Sorry, sis. Guess I spaced out there for a bit. She smiles. The same wry smile I know so well as she rubs absently at her leg. It is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is coming undone. Here, let me change it. It's alright, Papala. Come on, we have to go before we lose the light. 
We won't be going anywhere if sand gets into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Devola grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. <laughs> Soon we are resting in the shade of nearby rock as I pull the bandage free. Artificial skin, torn and bloodied, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging by Devola's current lack of ambulatory control, I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I check the circuitry to see if it can be repaired, replace the bandage, and hope for the best. Oh, wait. What? I thought this was a checklist. Wait. <laughs> I don't like this. No. Replace the bandage and hope for the best? No! As expected, wiring in the nerve circuitry has been damaged. Replacing it will require new connectors as well as some tools, none of which is easy to find in a desert. Sorry about this, sis, mutters Devola. That wry smile again. It kills me every time. Don't you dare apologize. You've done nothing wrong. I calmly change the bandage, trying not to let my worry show. I make it as tight as possible so no sand can slip inside. It's all I can do until I get the proper materials. That's going to be a tall order, considering our current condition. I'm sorry, sister. Okay, now you're apologizing? We both apologize while insisting the other's apology isn't necessary. It's kind of a funny, it's kind of funny in a way. Such a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing out across the desert before being stolen by the cool evening. Report regarding the increase in relapses. There has to be some way to prevent relapses. Devla's sharp voice echoes through our private quarters. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. <sighs> they wouldn't understand even if they did. That might be true, but regardless... Annoyed at my hesitation, Devola crosses her legs and scowls. The black scrawl took another victim, she says. That's three this month. It's spreading way too fast. Black scrawl. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her shout makes me jump. Just a little, but enough for her to notice. Seeing that, her eyes suddenly open wide. I'm sorry, sis. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay. I understand. It's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? I... When I first assigned... When I was first assigned to Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride. But now, my chest hurts just to think about it. If it were to fail... Before we knew it, the replicants had gained a sense of self, and the black scrawl started raging out of control. It moved fast. So fast, like a wind. Papala and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We'd talk to the replicants as if we didn't have a care in the world, but at night, we'd just hold each other and share the horror of it all. They've just been watching everything go down all this time. I'm glad you were with me murmurs Papala. I couldn't have handled being an observer all alone. We were able to endure because we had each other, I reply softly. Did the humans see this coming? Is that why they made a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were they really so cruel? I couldn't have done this by myself. I would have descended into madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all alone. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another city, she says. Maybe these abnormalities are a localized phenomenon. I pray that's the case. Even if we're of no use ourselves, things will still work out if the other observers can pull through. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Devla and Popola models from another town. 
Is this our Devola and Papala that they're talking about? Oh gosh, hold on. Okay, so... We're in the city part of the desert. The wind rubs my cheeks, the sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out here. We walk with renewed purpose, hoping to make up for lost time. Devla loses her balance every now and then, it gets bad after a while. I slip myself under her arm so she won't fall again and we press on. Is your leg alright? Well, I doubt I'll be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have much left, and yet she continues to smile. Also, I won't worry. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious, beyond fury. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it. But then she smiled and all of that rage just drifted away. I think we have the same face, yet such different smiles. Wait. <laughs> One day, I realized how she reminded me of the martyrs I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. Record of Project Gestalt's end. Our role as observers ended on the day Project Gestalt collapsed, all due to the actions of Devla and Poplum models from another town. With the original Gestalt lost, humanity was doomed to an inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replicant data we could find and launched it to the surface of the moon. <sighs> and though success was unlikely, as finding a lost sand grain in the desert, we still had to attempt it. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids, beholden to that same instinct, began to direct their hate at the Devla and Popola models who'd snuffed out humanity. Oh my god, I'm so scared to find out what this is. It started small, a few offhand remarks, the occasional glance. But even the smallest things have weight, and with enough of them combined, that weight eventually becomes a boulder. <laughs> That's a really good quote. <laughs> but even the smallest things have weight, and with enough of them combined, that weight eventually becomes a boulder. Emotions boiled over, remarks became jeers, and soon enough, my sister and I were the perfect target for persecution. At first, we simply accepted the fact that our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I suppose. We were observers for Project Gestalt, after all. And while we didn't cause it to fail, the people who did, well, they looked just like us. Oh, this is so sad. So we accepted it. We took the resentment and scorn. We endured. Because as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. We moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution. But in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister Devila met with unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. She said something in response to his taunts, something quiet, and though her words were ambiguous, he slashed her leg nearly in two. My vision narrowed, everything went red, and then she smiled at me. It's okay, sis. There's nothing we can do. But it was too late. My emotions were no longer in my control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let the most important person in the world come to harm. Oh my god, this is making me so emotional for different reasons. The sisterly love is really sweet, of course. Um that like protecting sense coming over her um but also like 
you know, the whole bullying thing from the other androids uh, taking out their hate on them because they look just like the models who caused the issue. But also then them like willingly taking on the the weight of the hate. Um, yeah, this, this is so sad. Devilon and I left town that same day. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It wasn't going to happen again. And it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could muster. <sighs> okay, we lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. A cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat we have left. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. But we continue our march because even this is better than suffering at the hands of our fellow androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same model as the androids who doomed humanity, so I understand that part. At least a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we are, and that Devila and Papala were who they were. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how I felt when I saw Devila being hurt. I wanted to shout it at everyone. I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one Devila. And for her, there's only me. No one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky. It stimulates our sensation nerves like cold needles. We need maintenance badly, but that's a pipe dream, I suppose. No android would dare help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devila? I'm all right as long as you're with me, sis. I feel the same. We press our bodies together to try and retain heat. It's cold now, much worse than the searing heat of midday. But we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. Kind of crazy that these androids were created in such a way that like, things like having to have body heat, like, it, you know, it's so cruel that they made them in this way to be so human-like in every way that they even have to deal with this when one of them is basically malfunctioning. Like, it's kind of insane. Ah. There's another camp on the other side of the desert. A new camp. We can just get there. I can finally fix Devila's leg. And yet I wonder if there's anywhere on this planet that will take us. All the outcasts. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse. It lashes us. It lashes at us without pause. Is this our punishment? I reach out and touch Devila's cheek. Support Devila's body. As long as we have bodies to support one another, as long as I have someone with whom to share my fate, then I will press on no matter what happens to me. Because I won't ever stop protecting her. I won't stop. No one stops. For that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. <laughs> that can't be it. Please, there's gotta be more. Oh, man. The failure to manage the area resulted in the collapse of the Gestalt system, which led to the decimation of the human race. The failure to manage the area resulted... What, what does that mean? What, the failure to manage the area. What, what does that mean? Manage what? Due to the discovery of its instability, the twin system was removed from future android production designs. Following the incident, the Devila and Papala models were not dismantled. However, in order to prevent further unexpected behavior, they underwent a memory wipe. Oh. 
Furthermore, they were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. That is so horrible. Oh my god. What? They were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. That is so horrifying. That is all that remains from their personal record during the era in which they were referred to as administrators. I see. Query. Why do the androids Devola and Popola seem to prefer death over surviving alone? There was a very high probability that at least one could have I... escaped. I hope you never have to understand. Affirmative. 